a hands-on look at Sonnet's Solo 10G Thunderbolt 3 to 10 gigabit base T Ethernet adapter. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Leave us a thumbs up, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and hit the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss our upcoming videos. Okay, so here is the Sonnet Solo 10G 10 gigabit base T slash in base T adapter, and this connects to your Mac directly via Thunderbolt 3. So let's go ahead and get it unboxed here now. Very simple unboxing, not a lot there. You have the documentation walking you through some of the key features and how to configure it in either Mac OS or Windows. And then you have the device itself, the Solo 10G. Let's unwrap it here. And the design is very simple, very straightforward in typical Sonnet fashion. Uh, so if you've seen some of Sonnet's other peripherals, they are designed with the, that ridge pattern on top. And because this device is dead silent, doesn't have any fans, it basically works as a giant heatsink. So on front, you do have your ethernet connection along with a couple of screws. And then you also have the Sonnet text and the Solo 10G text on front as well. Now on the bottom of the Solo 10G, you're gonna notice six non-slip pads. And these little pads keep the device nice and stable on your desktop, it's not gonna slide around. And what else you'll notice is that the Thunderbolt 3 cable is quite lengthy. It's about 18 inches long, so it's going to be plenty long enough to connect to your Mac in most circumstances. But what's cool about this cable is that it is a captive design. So you can actually unscrew the screws on the back of the Solo 10G, and you can remove and replace that cable if you need to. So say the cable has a problem, you can just go in there and just pop it out pop in a new Thunderbolt 3 cable and go about your business. Or say you wanna make the cable longer or shorter, the captive design allows you to do just that. So you just remove the little back panel here and then pop out the Thunderbolt 3 cable like that. It's just a normal Thunderbolt 3 cable and you can easily replace it and then replace that cover. Now in my hand right here, it's just a normal gigabit ethernet adapter that works via USB-C connectivity. And I'm gonna just connect this so I can compare the speeds to my Synology NAS, which supports 10 gigabit ethernet. Uh, so I'm gonna just plug in the Synology NAS direct connection, and we're gonna run a speed test using Blackmagic disk speed test tool to that NAS. You could see 100 megabytes per second write, and you're gonna see about 100 megabytes per second read. Uh, so definitely nothing outstanding here as far as performance. In fact, you probably are not gonna to wanna to edit 4K videos. Uh, directly to a NAS with that connection. Now let's connect the Sonnet Solo 10G and compare. And the cool thing about this adapter is that it supports in base T. So it means not only can you connect obviously at 10 gigabits per second, but you can also connect at five gigabits, 2.5 gigabits, or of course you can connect it just gigabit ethernet as well. And the link light will reflect the type of connectivity that you establish. So if you connect to a device that supports 10 gigabit connectivity, then you'll notice that the light is green and you're gonna see that here right now. All right, so we're connected to our Synology NAS at 10 gigabits per second. So let's go into the Mac OS system profiler and just confirm that that's what we're connected at. So here I have my Solo 10G and if I go to the Thunderbolt ethernet slot one for network, you'll see 10G base T for your media subtype. Now, if you select your network adapter in network preferences, go to advanced and hardware, you can configure everything according to the specs set up in Sonnet's getting started guide. So here I have 10G base T full duplex with jumbo 9000 MTU. So now when we test the connectivity to our Synology NAS, you'll notice an instant upgrade in speed which is gonna make using something like a Synology NAS to edit video off of a lot more feasible, especially a high quality 4K video, as you can see right here. So of course it all depends on what you're connecting to, but if your connection supports connections higher than gigabit, then you're gonna reap benefits from this adapter. And what's cool is that it's bus powered, so you just simply connect it to your Mac via Thunderbolt 3 and you're good to go. Now I will say this thing gets quite warm in the hand because it is passively cooled. There are no fans or anything inside. Uh, so don't be alarmed, it does get pretty warm in the hand, but as long as you give it plenty of air, you don't have it in a confined space, it should be fine. If you're a Mac user and you're just looking for a simple way to connect to a 10 gigabit network or any network that supports InBase T, 
then this device, the Solo 10G, does a pretty good job. Now it does retail for a pricey 200 bucks, although I did see it for 20 bucks cheaper on Amazon. But even for that price, you may just want to consider going with the full own Thunderbolt 3 hub that contains additional I.O. along with 10 gigabit Ethernet. But if you're looking for something compact, something portable, something bus powered, then I think the Solo 10G is a good device. It's especially handy if you're a MacBook Pro user, you want something that's simple to connect, you don't have to worry about connecting external power, you just need to quickly connect to a 10 gigabit network, then this device fits the bill. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.